People have been slowly hyping this shoe up more and more, but the question is, will they care about them when they actually release? Today, we're gonna be taking an in-depth look at the Kraft Air Jordan 3s. This is the first time we've seen the Air Jordan 3 in the Kraft series, so I'm excited to show you guys all the details of the shoe. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is The DNA Show. Hey! Now, before we get to breaking down all the intricacies of the shoe, you know we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 1988, we saw Michael Jordan jumping from the free throw line, and so many iconic moments were made back then and we have seen a ton of different takes on the Air Jordan 3 you name it there's a bunch of different variations of this shoe but recently over the past couple years Jordan brand has been integrating the craft series into the mix as well we've seen the ones the fours the fives and now the threes and shout out to the homies at hearth for letting me use this shoe to give you guys a review now let's go ahead and take it to the studio so we can break these things down so starting off with the box right here as you can see you have your modern day retro style Air Jordan 3 box but this one has a slight twist to it now typically yes we have the colorway Way matching the shoe I get that that's gonna be on the box but this one actually has Nike Air and a Jumpman logo on the top of the lid of the box and then reading the size tag it says Air Jordan 3 retro craft ivory gray mist cream now these are a size eight and a half unfortunately they didn't have a 13 and I'm still not sure if I like the shoe but at the end of the video I'll let you guys know my final thoughts also the retail on these is two hundred and ten dollars now lifting open the lid of the box you have your all-over elephant print paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe so you guys know on this channel I love to do comparisons breakdowns of the materials and everything like that but first we're gonna start with the bottom of the shoe and work our way up then we'll get into the poll results and everything else when it comes to the resale market looking at the outsole right here you have your classic Air Jordan 3 bottom you have a gray pod in the center at the ball of the foot and then your Jordan branding right here in the gray as well on the back end which is interesting because they didn't do Nike branding you know we see the Nike on the tab now on this area of the foot on the back end you have more of a sail cream kind of color and then you have a translucent cream kind of milky outsole all throughout the rest of the foot now going up to the midsole you got kind of like a two-tone sail in cream kind of colored more of a sail light white color on the bottom half of the midsole and around the the toe and the stitch and then on the back half on the top end you got that cream color wrapping around to the center of the foot on the midsole the air unit is gonna be the same color as the midsole as well and then to the upper oh the upper this shoe is mixed with a few different materials textures and a couple different elements that we've never seen before on the Air Jordan 3 so starting with the white leather that you see on the top of the shoe these things honestly they feel really really good uh, if you like the material on the white cement reimagined threes assume something like that but just a little bit better honestly i feel like they're really solid now just below the tumble leather you have a smoother leather wrapping around the mudguard area on the side of the foot and that always goes to the inside as well and then on the toe and the back end of the shoe you have your standard air jordan elephant print right there it's going to be gray with the light gray on the print but this is another new addition to the shoe you have another set of material wrapping around behind that in a suede and that's gonna be around the toe and on the back end on the heel on the end and outside of the foot and continuing with those additional suede hits on the shoe they also added that in the center of the foot right here around the eye stay area then you have your three translucent plastic holes right here that also match the bottom of the outsole now when it comes to the tongue of the shoe you have your perforated smooth leather but one thing that's another big switch up is they actually added a second jump man and it's more kind of like screen printed onto the shoe and then you have your standard embroidered jump man right here in your gray stitch and speaking of the double branding also on the back end of the shoe around the heel you have a translucent tab matching the same color as the outsole that's going to be here and you have your air jordan jump man in the air just below that and then behind that you have a gray text with the nike air branding so it's interesting actually wow that's actually interesting too how they did it i didn't realize I thought they were gonna put the text in gray where it says air but it just says nike and then they use the same air text right here from the Jordan logo. We've seen this done previously in the past on a couple other Air Jordan 3s, but this is something that we don't see too often. Now going to the inside of the shoe on the collar and behind the tongue, you have a gray fabric and then on the sock liner, that's gonna be all gray with that white Jumpman and that's gonna be on both the left and right heel. Now I brought out a pair of Kraft Air Jordan 4s as well, just to kind of show you guys how they took elements to a different level on different parts of the shoes, whether it may be the 4s, the 3s, the 5s, the 1s, the other models that we're seeing, which I'm very interested to see how many models they decide to put in this craft series but i like how they're giving it kind of more the neutral tones and the easy to wear stuff but at the same time for me again this is not a size 13 but if this was a size 13 these things probably would look like boats and that's kind of why i'm still on the fence about the shoe i'm not 100 sure yet if i want to cop i need to see a size 13 in hand because 
It's just, you know, white shoes in a bigger size, they just, they look even bigger. But besides all that, I was interested to see what you guys think about these two shoes. Do you like the fours more than the threes or the threes more than the fours? Do you not like them at all? Or how do you guys feel? Let me know about the craft pack in particular down below in the comment section. Obviously there's other versions as well, but I know these two are, you know, very similar with the, you know, the gray tones and everything like that. Now, when I was at Hearth to pick up the Black Cement Reimagined fours, I saw these sitting there and I was like, you know what, low key, I need to grab these two and give you guys a review, even though I wasn't sure if I wanted to cop yet, but they let me borrow them so I could give you guys a review. So again, shout out to them. If you guys haven't heard about them, I'll link them down below in the description. They got a dope store at Washington Square Mall and also at the Clackamas Mall, and you can shop on their website online as well. So now that you guys seen more in-depth details of the shoe, do you think this sneaker is fire or do you think this shoe is trash? I ask that question on my Instagram story all the time. So if you guys want to, make sure you follow me over there so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. 80% of the people chose fire and 20% of the people chose trash. And honestly, that's a really, really good percentage. But it also makes me wonder, is this shoe actually going to sell out? Do you think these are going to sell out? I feel like certain sizes will sell out, but I don't think the shoe is gonna sell out when it comes out. And is that a problem? No, not at all. But sometimes it does represent the percentages, the demand, the different things like that with the market. But we gotta remember, this is a $210 shoe. And again, we got All-Star Weekend coming up and a bunch of shoes coming out in February. So maybe people's kind of like got it on their reserve and they wanna get the shoe and kind of maybe waiting to see if it's gonna go on sale because all the shoes have been in the past. I don't know, we'll see what happens in the market. But me personally, I think if I wanted to go after size 13, I would probably be a little bit more active just to make sure that I grabbed them. But I don't think they'll sell out in all sizes. So that's the early look at the Air Jordan 3 Craft in the Ivory colorway. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I have fully curated playlists and more videos on the channel reviewing sneakers. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you watch the next video I have linked after this one. You won't want to miss it. I would never let you down. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, I have a ton on the inside when it comes to my sneakerhead academy it's an eight-week program that breaks down everything when it comes to the ins and outs of the shoe game learning the market and how to grow and scale your collection at the same time or turn it into a hustle and getting a bunch of money if you'd like to do that as well and if you want to invest in the real estate i have all the tips and tricks in live meetups where we do monthly meetups and everybody jumps in and we go over a call and we talk about different goals and aspirations that we have and how we can help each other get there so if that's something that you're interested in hit the link down below get signed up i would love to see you on the inside it's the holidays right now so we got a special going as well all right you guys i'm out let's see my dna hey, hey, don't rate this shoe out of 10. Uh, why you like it and why you don't like it i'm gonna give this shoe a, a 7.8 i really like the colors the white uh the white base shoe and the gray and the cream i think it like goes well with like a good amount of things but i don't really like this tag i don't know why the double jordan's kind of throwing me off but other than that it looks cool to me i'm gonna go an eight out of ten i think this is like the most perfect summer colorway shoe that you could get besides the white cement three it's just a plain white and gray shoe with a couple of little hits of the beige and the tan and everything like that don't be running away i know <laughs> <laughs> this shoe out of ten. um personally i'd give it like a Seven and a half, two. Um, I like the colors, you can wear it with a lot. I personally, as well, don't like this part. Um, but I'd cop them, I'd wear them. Plus, I like to make what I'm aware of. One of I would never let you down, it's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware of today. I was made for it, it's in the DNA. <laughs>